Hey techies, Anthony from Hatchers Nut here, and today we're checking out the Room Essentials LED clip lamp. You're, you're probably asking why. Well, in this series that I'm currently doing, it's things that we use here in production. So, actually, this area is being lighted by three lights. Two of them are this light. The other, you know, because they're up there. That's what's up there in the sky is two of these. And then there's a ring light here. Now, I used to use this where the ring light is now, but I wanted something that when I had an uh, item in front of me, there just wasn't a big old bright light in the center. So what is the deal with these lights? Well, first off, they're inexpensive and they're simple LEDs. They're, there's a flat uh, diffuser surface on here, so it's not blindingly light if you look into it. Although if you could see my studio set up, I have like papers hanging down blocking the light so I don't have it in my eyes because I do wear glasses. So the box is fairly simple. Uh, nothing, nothing to write home about it. it Barely is a box. I mean, the features they claim. Wow, black finish, plastic shade, long-lasting LED bulbs. Well, LEDs by nature. 4.5 watt bright light, low power consumption, instant full brightness. It, it says instant full brightness because literally the only thing is a switch here. That is it. There's no other settings. Very simple light. I think it, um, I tested it. I think it was a 60 watt. Uh, it says 4.5, but it's equivalent. It's about 60 watts. And, um, of course, the front of the box shows you, you know, hey, look at all these things. They, they mean nothing. Uh, this is a straight-up light. Now, on the plus side, you can pretty much pose this any way you want. Uh, I do realize, and I should warn, do not twist this head so far that it's, like, super tight. And then you, you know, because you can break it. You can fry it. You can endanger your home, your business, because you will essentially be breaking some electrical wire. Don't do that. So if we pull the clip off, we can pull out the box here. And in the box comes a, you know, the typical don't hurt yourself paper. So, you know, don't hurt yourself. And then uh, you can see here's the clip. It is a big clip. Now, my real first complaint is this being right here because it makes it difficult to grab said clip because it's in the way. Now, I mean, on the plus side, because of the way it's mounted above, which is kind of like this, um, they're clipped onto a wood plank that is behind this display here. And so the wood's taking the brunt of the, I mean, the clip is really strong. Do not put your fingers in there, it will hurt. Now, because I am in the United States, uh, we have this type of outlet. It comes with a plug cover, if I can get it off. And um, it's just straight up normal plug. Now, you're probably going, well, this seems like a boring review. Well, it is simply a lamp. A lamp that is a clip. It is, it is meant for display stuff, for reading. It is not complicated in the slightest. And um, here I am trying to find a means to plug it in. Now, once plugged in, as you see, I already have it on. It's not that bright. Um, but looking at it in the camera, that is very annoying. So it does get warm-ish, maybe just because of the electrical bit back here, but not so high that you can't touch it. I'm touching the ones above and it is very much still touchable. Can you run this for multiple hours without a problem? Yes. This is much better than some other tech I've looked at as far as heat, because all the heat is pretty much just leaving out the back here, hence the holes. So it's a good lit lighting solution for somebody who wants to do one of these types of displays if you go to the H&E games or h &E toys channel as a matter of fact um, most of my reviews use these lights in one capacity or another because they are just a constant source of light I don't have to mess with settings I turn them on and they're ready to go so uh, the link for this again is in the description it is not expensive I think it was eight dollars uh, definitely worth it I mean it's just super flexible you can do a whole bunch of things with it. And for the simple reading or display purposes, it is, as the kids say, the bee's knees. So um, definitely worth a pickup if you're looking for a cheap light source for recording or reading. With that said, tell me in the comments what you thought about this device. Are you planning to get one? Do you have any questions? Let me know and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.